I call the member for Fremantle. Thank you, Deputy Speaker. Uh, we're six days from the second anniversary of the brutal murder of the young Iranian Kurdish man Reza Barati at Manus Island's Regional Processing Centre on 17 February 2014. Fellow detainee Bethnam Sutter witnessed the murder of his roommate Reza and thereby became the principal witness in the murder trial. Mr Sutter remains on Manus Island and for the past year he has regularly received death threats for his role as a witness. I hereby present a petition calling for the immediate resettlement of Bethnam Sutter into the Australian community, which the Standing Order on Petitions has certified as being in accordance with standing orders. The in-order petition has only the signature of the principal petitioner, Diana Cousins, so I also seek leave to table the more than 18,000 electronic signatures that were not in order. Um, is leave granted? Thank you. Uh, it's alleged that since um, October 2015, a systematic campaign of intimidation against Mr Sutter has been carried out by supporters of the guards against whom he testified. He has been threatened directly by the accused. They have told him that it is very easy to kill him and they can arrange for it at any time. Mr Sutter has said no one can ever imagine how it feels to think every time that someone might kill you. Every second I have to be alert at night. When someone passes by my room at night, I have to be prepared. This experience has resulted in Mr Sutter developing a serious heart condition and being diagnosed with PTSD, for which he has not been receiving appropriate medical treatment. Mr Sutter's name and photo were published in the PNG newspapers and therefore he cannot be safe in PNG. Concerned Australians, including the principal petitioner in this case, have written to the government on this issue and have received responses from Australian Border Force on behalf of the Minister for Immigration. ABF stated that Mr Sutter's safety is a matter for Papua New Guinea and I quote, issues relating to the safety and security of transferees are matters for the PNG government to determine. Deputy Speaker, in fact, the PNG government does not run the Manus camp. It is run by contractors hired and paid by Australia. Australia cannot contract out of its international legal responsibilities towards those who have re requested asylum in Australia. This trick of displacing people seeking asylum outside of Australia's jurisdiction in order to evade responsibility for their welfare is an abdication of our legal duty to protect those fleeing persecution. It does nothing constructive to assist with the global challenge of displaced persons. Australia's incarceration of asylum seekers on Manus and Nauru has merely wasted many billions of dollars and created lifelong health problems for these most vulnerable people. Furthermore, the use of offshore processing as a punishment to deter those who have not yet sought asylum in Australia is a misuse by Parliament and the executive of the principle of deterrence, which would normally be a function of the courts in the determination of sentencing for a criminal matter. Asylum seekers have committed no crime. It is not illegal under international law to seek asylum. I stand with the more than 18,000 petitioners to urge the Australian government to resettle Bethnam Sutter in the Australian community, as it is evident that his safety cannot be guaranteed in PNG. We cannot bring Reza Barati back to life, but we the can save the life of the witness to his murder.